Off the wrong leg, put that English on the ball so it spin off the glass, but I like that. I like in traffic, over the top, boom. That's nice. <laughs> I mean, that was powerful, but it, you know, the dribble approach was great. <laughs> I, I like can't it, either, so they impress both. I like it. Both, both impress me. <laughs> Miss dehydration. Kawhi shed the mask and dropped 21 third quarter points, and the Clippers come from behind win. He also held two water bottles at once. This was not Paul Pierce style. He actually held them in his hand, one hand, two water yeah. bottles That's at one time. Brian, why hold one when you can hold two, right? Well, Rachel, this appears to be sparkling and, and flat. And that everybody knows a good meal, you should have a bottle of both. I can't even get uh, my hand around this entire cup. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, the guy just had two water bottles holding in his hand. I mean, that is unbelievable. <laughs> I actually go. think he could hold more than so two. So unfair. So unfair. I think unfair. he could hold three or four. That's just... Yeah, that's wrong. Make <laughs> <laughs> he had finger slack. And the slack. dexterity. Slack Say that four Andy times dexterity. fast. Lakers Rockets off the miss. LeBron snaring it with his left. Pearls the pass up to KCP for the finish. Fizz, what would LeBron average if he just played with his left hand? You coached him for four years. <laughs> if he ridiculous. just played with his left. You know what? He still probably have pretty dang good numbers. I'm not going to lie. I mean, he, he he's so talented. He's still going to get to the rim. He's still going to go by people. He still can throw passes with either hand. So he'd still be probably an all-star. <laughs> Well, as we all know, he is left-handed. He plays basketball right-handed, but he is left-handed. So I would say a lot, a lot of points this and a lot of rebounds. <laughs> this was my question. I mean, again, I mean, had the that. Ben Simmons conversation. <laughs> Not only did he throw it his left hand, it was You perfect. should better ask, how many yards could he have thrown against the Steelers last night? That oh, is a question. I knew that with was his coming. With his or a call. <laughs> <laughs> Miss defense, Nuggets, Nick, Jokic running out of time, running out of options. So he's like, oh. Maybe I'll just oh my do this. Goodness. <laughs> this I mean. Big time shot for Big Honey. Big Honey, is that a <laughs> that, that one, I got a tough one? That off. nickname That's picked good. up steam in the last week, Big and I have honey. come out on the show strongly <laughs> that he should continue with the Joker as opposed to Big yeah, Honey. Yeah, I can't but... call it. Big Honey. Come on, man. But that's a tough shot. You shoot over Mitchell Robinson. I mean, a bona fide 7 1 shot blocker mm -hmm. right Mitchell there. Robinson after this game said <laughs> defending him wasn't actually that hard. Oh. No. He said that. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, he did everything he could do right there, right? I mean, <laughs> much of the NBA. It was good defense, I will admit. Yeah. Doesn't seem to agree, but there you go. Big honey. I, it's just Big not honey. acceptable to me. I'm just, I don't know. I'm going to have some problems with this picture team. <laughs> Make terror. Hawks Hornets. Terry Rozier going behind oh. the back. Oh. Drives in and slams it. Come on. Brian, which was better, the move or the finish? I thought we were getting to this right off the top of Maker or Miss. Well, the move, was in, the move was incredible, but he finishes so strongly that he falls down. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he wasn't even ready for that power of that jam. So I guess I got to go with the jam because it surprised even him. And look, he didn't. nobody wanted none of that action down there. I'll tell you that. When he loaded up. <laughs> I mean, Where is everybody else at? Somebody got to go challenge that, right? I, too, would have made. So, again. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be on that poster when you got a point guard going to the rim and, and you jump up there and make a mistake and now you're on Terry Rozier's wall. You don't want that, do you? <laughs> All right. So, that, given that inspirational video you have just been watching, it is time to run it back to the best move dunk combos ever. Honorable mention oh. only because it was preseason. Oh, Kobe on Ben Wallace goodness. in 97. Come on. Where is that at? Thomas and Mac? That look um, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. I just want to tell you the greatest montages Ooh. we've ever had in this show. And I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let you guys watch it. Oh, my <laughs> This is an incredible montage that you're about to watch. <laughs> Let's go for Brian's turn kit monitor isn't working. Oh, Number I five. remember this. I was there for this one. Derek oh. versus the Heat in 2011. Fizz, what did it feel like? <laughs> we could not believe it. He was such a pain in our butt. The guy had rockets. You couldn't contain him off the dribble. And then when he got in there, that was a possibility. And Joel Anthony was our best day in shot block. That year's MVP, number four. Yeah, but Vince. you won the game. You won the game in the series. <laughs> <laughs> Vince versus the Lakers, 2001. You could show 50 of these for Vince. I'm sure yes. he's got, like, a whole reel of these. There's the move. And there's the finish. The best part about this clip, you can't hear it is that Chick Hearn freaks out when he sees it. Chick <laughs> Hearn was blown away by it. The great Chick Hearn, baby. Kobe against the Come Dugs, on, Cole, Cole.
Mamba is just, come on, man. A little look afterward. That's seriously like he's in slow motion. Like, that's how he sees the game right there. That slow mo. Mm -hmm. Man, we're going to miss him. Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. mm, number two. Dwayne Wade versus oh, yeah. Thunder. Oh, yeah. I was there for that, too. You're on the bench for that one, too, man. <laughs> I was there for that one, too. Oh, my goodness. Did we go off when we saw that? <laughs> he was another guy. I'm telling you. He always says he's 6'5". He's about 6'3". Mm -hmm. But that's why I was always impressed with his dunks, because he is about 6'3". <laughs> I hope he's watching this right now. Number one, Michael Jordan. Oh, no, Jordan Pat. Versus the oh, no. 1991. Oh, man. So How sorry. did you do this? I, mean, I still don't know what happened here. No, he the illegal defensive rules. He came over to trap the box. Oakley thought he was dribbling <laughs> out. And he hit him with the spin. Mm. Oh, I was in seventh grade, just so you know. <laughs> the answer, Brian, how did he do that? How did he do anything? He's Michael Jordan. Exactly. Boom. Right. came up with this eight-player rule. Mm -hmm. It wasn't in the COVID era. And maybe, <laughs> maybe it would happen one time or two times a year in the entire NBA. And maybe it would just happen for one night because a guy or two had a, had a twisted ankle or, or, or was under the weather for one day. This, this rule, this eight-player rule, was not built for contact tracing that lasts seven days. And so... There's really only two options. You're either going to have to reevaluate the contract tracing rules as a result of new protocol, or they're going to have to consider expanding the rosters, which they've already done a little bit of by allowing 10-day uh, contracts, which they don't usually allow at this point in the season. Uh, we've seen a couple of teams sign hardship players. Before this uh, season started, Rachel, the NBA kicked around ex extending the amount of two-way players from two per team to four per team, or even you know negotiate to three. They ended up not doing that. They may have to relook at that to yes. see, to give a little bit of more of a buffer. Yeah, and, and look, that's complicated too, right, Brian? Because I, I was I was listening to the Hoop Collective podcast on the way into work <laughs> today. It's excellent. I recommend it to everyone. And you and ben, uh, Tim Bontemps and Royce Young were discussing a team like Boston had 14 players available when they went to bed and eight players available when they wake up the next day because of contact tracing concerns. And so you couldn't get... Even if you had those expanded rosters, right, could you get the guys you would need in the right place at the right time for the game? Well, you might be able to, but you can't just sign the guy off the street. Like in the past, we've seen guys sign at 10 a.m. and start at 7.30. Now a player would have to go through a quarantine. You can't just sign them. So even getting a new player takes days. So you would ideally like to have those players healthy. Uh, but again, if they're ensnared in contract tracing, you're in the same you're in the same boat. You know, the Major League Baseball had this sort of taxi squad where they had like guys located down the road sort of playing simulated games and that helped them grease the skids. I don't know if the NBA could look at something like that, but the G League is headed towards a bubble and even that has issues because even if you plucked players out of the bubble who are playing well and healthy and ready and, and in shape, they would have to quarantine because they'd have to travel from Orlando to join the team wherever they are. This is just really complicated. The league is going day by day. Yep, and of course, if you do expand the rosters and those guys are in your traveling party,